Today was our open hot house, which we're extremely proud of to, to allow people to come and, and walk into our facility and have access and, and be transparent. Um, we've worked really hard to get to this point. Um, and we, the plan is basically to make this place available to where if you guys want to come for a tour, give us a call, you know, get in contact and we'll let you guys walk through. We have a section here that's basically like a museum exhibit and kind of walks you through the history of Offenhauser, like where we began and where we are today. And it's, it's really interesting and I think that most people who come here don't expect to see that and when they do, they're really taken back and blown away. And for me, I mean, that's something that we've put a lot of hard work into and I'm extremely proud of that. We can kind of wave our flag at everybody and say, hey, this is where we were, this is where we are. since 1946. Uh, we moved to these buildings in 1952, so we've been here 70 plus years. Um, obviously we started out making performance uh, parts. Fred Offenhauser worked for his uncle who actually made the Offy engine. Um, then he went to war, World War II, came back and wanted to make car parts and he did. And that's how he started his company, Offenhauser Sales Corporation. So all the parts we have are made from original patterns, original bucks, so we don't make any reproduction parts. Um, everything is made from the original pattern. So uh, all the, the, the machines that are in the shop, in the machine shop section, which you're letting everybody tour today, um, are they mostly a lot of the machines original or, or machines have been in use for a number of years? Yeah, a lot of these machines have been here um, from the beginning. We actually have some machines that are over 100 years old. Um, our Van Norman doming machine was actually used by Fred Offenhauser. Uh, Fred, uh, Fred Hernandez in the very beginning days of Offenhauser. So yeah, we have, even now, the, the machine that we dome our heads on is 100 plus years old. So the tooling here is really hasn't changed. We actually have guys that have been working here for 44 years um, still doing the same thing. So if you have offy parts on your car, it's you probably have something that was made by a guy that was here 44 years ago and is still here today. This table has been here for years. A lot of these are old pictures that are just um, photos that we've accumulated throughout the history of the company. Um, there's pictures basically from the very beginning. This is like Culver City, where we started on down to, you know, this is like Vic Edelbrock and Fred Offenhauser together at a SEMA show celebrating with a drink. So this was probably made at say, 70s-ish. This actually might date it. This is a, a watercolor painting that was done by uh, Fred Offenhauser's wife, which we actually have a very large version in the office, which is really cool, very detailed, extremely beautiful image, um, which we cherish. And yeah, this table is just built in the rooms. They coated it with some clear stuff, put some old photos underneath it. There's a couple old race cars in here. This is a White House Speed car, which is a rear engine dragster, which is one of the first rear engine small block Chevys. And Ollie Morris was actually an engineer for us. That's his car. He worked here for years. He was actually a very important part of developing some of our parts.
This okay. is inactive accounts. Oh. <laughs> and these are the last times that they were ever active. So you've oh. got, <laughs> you know, and it's fun just to kind of like, you know. Yeah, that's what I was doing. It was like the, the names that you pull out of there. Oh, so in 1987, there's John's Quality Pistons. Look at that, John's Pistons. So these, this was a client of ours. In LA. Yeah, they would buy from us for whatever reason, it's John's. You know, but you, you pull up these, these things, you know, Kelleher Motor, Ellensburg, Washington, 1967, this <laughs> went inactive, you know. We've thought about making t-shirts, right? Like, yeah. Some cool, you know, here's Kelsey Custom Chevrolet, Andrew. McLean, Virginia. You know, there's information here, job or cash on, you know, CD right. only. So, yeah, wow, this that's is, neat. and we have huge Rolodexes of every speed shop in America we, we did business with for 50 years. Right, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. So when we found this place that was still intact, like myself, Sky, like I discovered this place around the same time. Sky knew that it was here, but like we figured out that the family still out owned and operated the company, that, that basically was still, you know, the way it, it was. Mm -hmm. um, we saw a chance to kind of keep it that way, but somehow usher it into a, a new, you know, another another epoch, yep. another chapter of its life. And so Mr. Offenhauser bought it, bought into that idea that, you know, we would carry on the, the, the vision of, of his father mm -hmm. and of his great uncle. So ultimately <clears throat> the point here is to keep that practice going, to continue manufacturing things by hand, to continue caring about the materials, to continue knowing the nature of the materials, which is a really a, lot, a part of the lost art. You know, there's not all metal is created equally, and you hear that, but, you know, it matters when you go to like, put something on an engine and there's gonna be a wall of aluminum and on one side there's gonna be water, mm -hmm. and on one side there's gonna be air and fuel and you don't want them to mix. Yes. Like, you know.